give me a call if you have a potential match. We could be parents in a week. In a yeah. week. You get your hopes up about a child and then it doesn't work out. There's a lot of it that's out of your control. You don't know when the kid's gonna come along, when you're gonna be offered a child, and then this will be the kid that you have for the rest of your life. You have to take a huge leap of faith. How are you feeling, baby? So incredibly excited. Sleep a little bit. I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> this is not, it's real, but it's like. Yeah, like, yeah. Like. So fast. The world seems a little fuzzy. <laughs> the baby has been in the hospital for two months, and the doctors say he'll need to stay there for at least another month. So that means we'll be spending a lot of time getting to know him in the hospital. Lucky for us, we live right around the corner. Welcome back to The F Word, a series about adopting a kid from foster care. <laughs> that is a little baby boy. He's two months old, and um, we've we've been selected to be his foster parents. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is so cool. So, give me his history. He's two months old. Where has he been? In the hospital. Just yeah. in the hospital. Yeah, wow. mm -hmm. the whole time. Yeah. And where's the mom? If I were watching this, I would have so many questions. Like, how did this baby end up in foster care? Where are his parents? What are the chapters of his story before we met him? We've started thinking a lot about what Jay will think about this series once he's old enough to watch it. And the truth is, sometimes my role as a filmmaker and my role as a foster parent are at odds. As a filmmaker, I want to be able to tell the best possible story. But as a foster parent, I just want to protect Jay. I just feel like we have to imagine what he would think five years from now, 10 years from now, about us sharing parts of his story. Would it feel like an invasion of privacy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we're not sure, or we think it might be inappropriate, then we just don't share it. Right. Season one was really all about us wanting to adopt a kid and deciding to do that through foster care. But as we've met more and more people in the system, we've realized that we only see such a tiny corner of it. So we really want to hear from people that have had totally different experiences than we have. Well, as you know, Kristen and I have been making this project for a couple of years now. And the first whole season just focused on our own experience we realized there were just a lot of voices that we were never hearing from and like a silencing that went on of foster youth when that's exactly who we would be learning the most from because foster youth are the experts of this subject, I think more than anybody else really. I couldn't agree more. So you went into the foster care system when you were one, you and your, and your siblings. Yep. How old were you when you entered the foster care system? Um, I believe I was from, it was from birth. Both my parents had passed away. And so my dad died when I was a month old and my mom died of cancer when I was three. I don't 
remember everything. I was first removed. I first entered foster care at around six months. I was six. Okay, and? I just turned six. You had just turned six, and how long were you in the system? Almost two years. I was in and out of it, and then I got adopted at five years old. I've spent two decades in foster care. I stayed in over 21 different foster homes. I use the number 32. My behavior was, I don't want to use the word difficult, <laughs> um, but my behavior was challenging for foster parents. There was like a lack of like trauma-informed systems and a lack of people asking me what I needed. And I think if someone had took the moment to do that, things could have been pretty different. I didn't really start sharing with many of my friends or colleagues that I myself was in foster care until I started Foster America. When I was working in the White House, it's something I kept very much under wraps because it's stigmatized in our society, and that is something we need to change. While Jay is just a baby right now, this will always be part of his story. And to us, it seems that the first step in fighting the stigma is listening to people who've experienced it firsthand. It's midnight, and we're at Target, because we got some big news today. The doctors, who were so sure that the baby would need to stay in the hospital for at least a month, called yesterday to say it would be more like a week. And then tonight, they told us, never mind, come first thing in the morning. He's ready. Do you know how to do this? Uh, I YouTubed it. We have our protest signs here. We're gonna need to vacate them. I'll be, I'll be right back. Thanks. No rugs. That's where the baby oh. sit. Rocky, Rocky, come on. <laughs> oh, the baby. Parent badge. And that's it. All right, let's okay. go. Okay. Okay. Last time here. Yeah, we're gonna bust you out of here. You ready for that? Yeah. Yeah, today's the day. Today's the day. We're gonna get you out of here. You ready? Let's do it. This must be so strange for him. Yeah. Taking it all in. <laughs> we have a nice little house for you. <laughs> we are now officially Jay's foster parents. He'll stay with us while social workers are searching for other birth family. Our hope is that they find them and then we're able to form a relationship with them, whether or not we adopt Jay. But for now, the social workers tell us that there's no way for us to contact anyone in his family. <laughs> if no one comes forward, then there's a good chance we'll become Jay's permanent adoptive home. But either way, we won't know for at least six months. This is how it works for kids under one. The feeling of being able to bring him home, it's such a relief. But honestly, it's also really overwhelming. We're also kind of like, how have these people just entrusted us with this tiny human? This is the fourth time he's woken up tonight. So far, it's about two in the morning. Kristen's rocking him back to sleep. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Oh my gosh, are you seriously filming this? Yeah, it's his first night with us. <laughs> Can you believe there's a baby in our apartment? Oh, I can't. How long do you think he'll be with us? Mm, I don't know. 